sawa uh, if you're not comfortable talking about it iko sawa namna hiyo sasa i want to know uh, you did over 250 episodes yo eh uh, pale our perfect wedding what kept you waking up each and every morning kwenda rungai kitoka rungai unaenda limuru kitoka limuru utaenda siji wapi thika yeah. what kept you waking up each and every morning oh my god i loved it mm-hmm. i loved it you know mm-hmm. you literally smacked up in the middle of somebody's special moment special moment like mm. this is as in it will go down in your books as one of your biggest days sure. it's either it's a, it's your birthday mm-hmm. it's when you get married it's when you get kids it's when you die as in those are like the the mm-hmm. biggest mm-hmm. moments of your life mm-hmm. and um, I'm I'm there you know mm-hmm. I I felt very privileged to share those people's stories mm-hmm. and I'm also an empath I I I soak in people's energy you know mm-hmm. um what kept me going mm-hmm. Honestly I feel is that and I I I loved I loved sharing their stories. So even so many times when um pengine tulikuwa tunaharakishwa like which we we there's a time I was even supposed to film like three um weddings in a week. Different weddings. Yes. And that for mm-hmm. me was devastating. Mm-hmm. That for me I think that's when I started feeling like I don't think I can do this anymore. Kama shoot nini moja ni hectic interview to ya 40 minutes. Imagine. Mm-hmm. So there's a time where we were needed to shoot three episodes a week and that that's when now my decline started because mm-hmm. it felt it did not feel personal anymore. It mm-hmm. felt like I'm just coming into your house to collect content, we go edit, we put it on air. Mm-hmm. Adios. Adios. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like up until today I still are friends with the couples that mm-hmm. i interviewed ah wa mwisho mwisho hata sisi wakumbuka cuz it just felt like you I'm didn't connect in, yeah i didn't mm-hmm. i don't have time like here i am with couple a in the morning mm-hmm. then i have to meet a whole new couple start a whole mm-hmm. new episode then yeah. i have to pick up the other one Amazing. this one time oh my god mm-hmm. i was in two weddings on the same day what yes two weddings on the same day uh-huh. so i have to leave this guys going to the reception uh-huh. i have to change my makeup change my clothes so that i can go and start a whole new episode this other side Man. it's really really and really people don't see the struggles people by the way don't see the struggle mm-hmm. i remember this one episode where um we had to make it look like it is in the morning like i've come to check up on you in the morning mm-hmm. so we had to say it's 5 a.m. it really wasn't it was 10 10 p.m. uko yeah. so that also took away from me uh-huh. i felt i know i can't be an actor you know yeah, sure. I, and if there's one thing i, I just don't like feeling like a fraud mm-hmm. like even when i feel like a fraud one way or another i think i'll still admit it yeah. that really made me feel bad <laughs> i felt naharakishwa i felt my capacity of touch is not there anymore mm-hmm. and also my audience was very keen to notice mm-hmm. and hey your episode will gonna come choka you know that when that personal touch started mm-hmm. portraying mm-hmm. and i i really expressed myself so much to my producers but nothing was happening mm-hmm. it looked like all i'm doing is complaining mm-hmm. that's that's the part where you like wanna talk with them sana utaki pesa imagine uh-huh. that's that's I'm mm-hmm. like it's it's okay. It's, yeah. it's fine. Um if I'm not giving 100%, mm-hmm. there's really no point of doing it. True. And I felt that I was I was functioning at at 60 at 50%. Mm. No. You're not giving your best. I'm not giving my best. I can't. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Nice.